And Babs, what do you have out there? Thank you, Courtney. I'm here with former state rep Kate Knuth. She's running to replace Jacob Fry as the next mayor of Minneapolis. And I know you started campaigning back in March. Yeah. Now it's finally here, election night tonight. How are you feeling as we wait for some results tonight? Yeah, I am really excited and I am so grateful for the people in Minneapolis who are really digging in and thinking hard about the vote we're taking today. And yeah, I'm feeling a lot of energy. I feel like there's a lot of energy on this question on the ballot. Question yeah. number two that could decide the future of policing in Minneapolis. Yeah. I believe in the past you've committed to the current level of police funding for two years. Yeah. But if elected as mayor, what do you see for the future of policing in Minneapolis past that? Yeah. As mayor, how many police officers would you have on the street? You know, I think it's important for voters to know that I do support Charter Amendment 2, Department of Public Safety, and police are absolutely an essential part of that department. You know, we are down from where we're currently funded, so we do have work to build up to uh, current staff, uh, funded staffing levels. And I think as we build up a more holistic public safety system, that's how we figure out together how to have the most effective public safety system for the people of Minneapolis. The goal is public safety, and we're going to have the right number of officers for that. All right, thank you so much for yeah, your time on what you. I'm sure is Glad a busy day for your staff. We are also following very closely another mayoral candidate in Minneapolis, Sheila Najad. I want to show you some video from this morning actually we captured as she went to her polling place to get her vote in herself. Her campaign is holding off on interviews until late tonight, but I spoke with them on the phone and they say they are incredibly proud of the work they've done. They put resources into having as many direct conversations with Minneapolis residents as possible. And now, because of that, they're expecting good results. They feel voters have seen their ideas for the future of Minneapolis, responded well to those ideas. So now they believe the results will show that. And obviously, only time will tell, but we'll be all over this all night here on Fox 9. So for now, sending it back to you, live in Minneapolis, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right, Babs, thank you. A rent